right, so I'm currently building my floor for my GTI, which is going to go in the trunk. This is a cutout. I tried actually vinyl um, peel and stick. It sucked. It absolutely did not work. I even tried Loctite glue underneath it. It just wouldn't stick. So this is it. Um, I have a note on here just in case my dad started working on it without me that uh, I could probably get rid of an inch, quarter of an inch, something on any one of the sides. So it's a pretty rough template, but it's a template nonetheless. So what we're doing this out of is uh, repurposed gymnasium flooring from a high school in Tulsa. We have a bunch over there. And what I'm doing right now, I'll show you. My parents are still moving into this shop, so it's kind of a mess. Um, this is the flooring. So what I'm doing right now is cleaning all of these sides because that's all mud. And then this is tongue and groove, so I'm just sticking the sides together. Um, I'm going to do as much as I can without his help because I don't really want to bother him for a bunch of help. But he's going to help me cut it and things of that sort. So that is what I'm doing right now. I will show you specifically what I'm doing with each piece. Um, with, like I said, where there's mud, I'm scraping it off and then brushing it and then I'm hammering the tongue and groove into the other sides. So I'm going to do all the way across and then we will flip it over and I'm not sure if he wants to secure it with nails or anything like that, but I'll obviously take his advice on what he wants to do and we'll cut it to fit. All right, my dad decided to play music during this part, so I'm just going to tell you what I'm doing. I'm flipping it over to make sure all the colors line up and are everywhere where I want it to be and I'm hammering everything together so I can make sure that everything lines up. All right, before we get to this next step, whenever I had lined everything up front side up, there are three point lines, half court lines, um, free throw lines, all of that from floor markings, and I wanted to make sure some of the colors were going to be visible. So after I made sure everything was where I wanted it to be, I undid it again and redid it back um, backside up and then I put the template on top and I will show you what I did from there. Okay so the last thing that I did for tonight is I traced with a pencil to get as precise of an outline that I could. Um, I think I mentioned this before a second ago. This is a little off. Um, it's not perfect so we are gonna have to shave it a little bit here and there. I've already warned my dad that. Also I cut my freaking hand right there and right here. So that's an update for right now. I'm gonna stop for tonight because I need my dad's help with the jigsaw, but next step after this is we are gonna remove this right here, which I can do right now. And we are gonna put some of that particle board behind this as support. So we'll put a piece going that way and a piece going that way as complete supports for everything. And yeah, then we will get started with the jigsaw after it's completely supported on the back. Stay tuned. Okay, so what you're gonna see here, I came to my parents' house to see the little puppy I bought my mom. She's so cute, she's a golden retriever. My dad had already cut everything out to my surprise. Very, very happy about that. So what we're doing here is cutting the support, the particle board I had mentioned. We cut it hot dog wise so we can have support on each side. And then from that point, we literally nailed a nail in every single board, um, kind of diagonally, if that makes sense. All right, here is the final setup of the new trunk floor that I have for my Mark 7.5 GTI. Um, again, I wanted to do something for the trunk and the vinyl wouldn't work. Luckily, the vinyl wouldn't work because if it did, I wouldn't be able to have this pretty cool setup. I don't know anybody who has a trunk floor made out of old gym wood flooring from a high school or school for that matter. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I am going to clean it up, kind of buff and polish it, just make it look uh, as nice as it can. And I have wood floors at my house, so I'm gonna use some of the product I have at home. But I'm gonna go home right now, clean it up. Again, this is it. This is my trunk uh, flooring for my Mark 7.5 GTI. It's a 2018. Um, really, you can do this with anyone. Just start with a stencil, and um, obviously, you'd have to have wood flooring, but this is it. My dad helped me make it. He is a lot more knowledgeable at this kind of crap than I am. So instead of utilizing the internet, I just utilize somebody that is around me almost every day. So. This is it again. This is reclaimed wood from a Tulsa high school wood floor uh, gymnasium. And it is in the back of my Mark 7.5 GTI. And that's it. So we have big things coming. Like I said, if you haven't figured it out by now, you're probably not going to figure it out. But um, pretty, pretty easy to figure out now that you've seen this. So I appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. Um, comment. It helps. Um, nice comments, of course. And like the video. See you in the next one.